Okay. Hold on a second. What? That is where my bubble gum went. What? They got my bubble gum. What are you talking about? You don't see all the goats chewing my oh. gum? I thought you meant I got in my on. truck the other day and there was no gum. Uh, Keep the ball. Hey, where are you going? I can't play ball with you if you just run away with it. I'm not going to chase you guys. Here, let me kick it for you. Uh-oh. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Huts Farm. So if you can't hear, Daryl is waiting for his bottle and I've got a pocket full of hot dogs and I got a pocket full of uh, goat milk replacer that's warmed up for little Daryl to get his bob off for the day or for the, this is actually his uh, noontime snack dinner. But we got something we're gonna talk about. We got a little bit of a problem. It's not really a problem. It's something that we knew was coming, but it's something we gotta deal with. Or we're gonna have uh, other things. There's little Daryl. There's little Daryl. What do you know, buddy? You want ready for your bubble? So, guys, let me take care of Daryl real quick. I'm gonna bottle feed him, and then I'm gonna talk about something we got going on with the dogs, and it's something we gotta address. Actually, I started addressing it yesterday, so stay tuned for that. Let me uh, see to the baby wherever he went. Oh, he's right here by me. He's waiting for his bottle. Let's see if he'll actually take the bottle on his own. Um, we're still trying to train him. So he knows to come to me for the bottle. If yeah, Lacey, Lacey, get back, boy. Get back. Here, here Daryl. Let's see if he'll actually stick it in his own mouth. We're still working with him. Lacey, go lay down. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> he don't know to... All right, I might set the camera up, so... Bear with me. This is always fun when we got dogs and goats. Come here, Daryl. Come here, little Daryl. Come here. Oh, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. He just ran from me. Come here. Can't chase you. Come here. Look. Hey, Daryl. The camera is not your bubble. Come here. Come here. Okay, hold on. Come here. Ugh, you want to eat? Huh? You want to eat? Oh boy. Oh boy. Here, take your bubba. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Oh. Here you go, Daryl. There we go. Nice warm bubba. So, sometimes when we come out here and feed him, sometimes he'll eat the whole bottle. And sometimes he'll only eat like half or a third or three quarters. Rachel's walking out here and the dogs are core is growling at her. It's your mama. So yesterday guys, I was out here um, filming and uh, I didn't talk about this yesterday in the video, but I actually noticed something going on with Cora. And that's what we're going to address today in today's video. I actually started addressing it yesterday, but I wanted to talk about it in a whole separate video. So bear with me and we'll talk about it here in just a little bit. Rachel's coming out here so she can she can see to the baby, but she's almost got half of it gone now. Anybody looking for a bottle baby buckling, hit us up in the email or contact us however and uh we can probably work something out. Aww. Leesky said, yeah, I'm tired of babysitting this one. He cries too much. <laughs> no, don't. Come here, Core. Come here, Leesky. I come out here because I thought you looked like you needed some help, but you got it. <laughs> it gets kind of hard with no hands. By the time you're holding a bottle, a baby goat, and a camera, it's not that easy. <laughs> but I got a tripod, but when you got these goats and these dogs, sometimes it's a little difficult. But yeah, seriously, if anyone's looking for a little bottle baby buckling, he's a, he's full Kiko, so uh, just let us know. You done? A little more? You got a, you got a swallow or two left in there, buddy. You got a swallow or two left in there, buddy. Oh, you like you like your head scratched? <laughs> he's full. All right, I think he's full. You might. I'll set this bottle up here, and we'll try it before we get off here all right guys so uh 
I'm gonna let Rachel hold this camera for me. I'm gonna talk about something real quick. So, I've already told you, yesterday I came out here, come here, Cora. Yesterday I came out here, I was bottle feeding Daryl and I was trying to end the video, and I looked down and I noticed Cora was bleeding from her private. And then uh, she looked swollen and all that stuff. And I, I know a lot of kids watch our channel, they watch our videos, so I'll try to keep it, keep all my words proper for all ages and stuff but uh Cora is now in heat and I just started noticing it yesterday and uh leesky has been sniffing on her a little bit and stuff I have not seen them actually mate or breed but you guys know back in August of 2022 I went to the vet I'd done a lot of research and I went and talked to our local vet and uh oh he found the the prize I went and talked to our local vet after doing a lot of research and I found a medication that you can give canine dogs and it will actually break their heat cycle um, it is a pill called Megastrol acetate I got it right here and uh, you give it to them you have to find you have to start administering the medication when they first start showing signs of coming in heat so yesterday was the first time um, I noticed the bloody discharge and the swelling on Cora and I've seen Leesky smelling around on her, but I have not seen him do anything else. So that's a good thing. Um, Cora could be bred right now as far as, you know, she's old enough to be bred and all that, but she's only 14 months old. And uh, we've never actually raised dogs for breeding purposes until now. And Rachel and I just feel like it would be better if we wait until at least her next heat cycle. Um, professionals recommend waiting until dogs are over two years of age. Um, she's 14 months right now. Dogs usually come in about twice a year, so about once every six months. And uh, so right now, what, March 12th, so maybe in six months from now, she'll be coming in again. That'll put her up around two years of age. So that will be a lot better and uh, safer for her and just better off. She'll be more of a mature dog. And uh, so that's what we're going to do if this medicine works. Now, if this medicine doesn't work, then we'll let nature take its course. And uh, we'll have puppies in three months, I guess. You want a hot dog? Hmm? You want a hot dog, sweetie? Pretty girl. All right, so we're going to go ahead and administer this medicine. Like I said, I actually started it yesterday. So after today, we'll have six more days. And if you guys are new to giving dogs medicine, I just take the peel. It's just a little white tablet, and I stuff it right down in a hot dog. And always, as soon as they get one in their mouth, go ahead and finish it up with another little bite-sized piece. And they'll usually go ahead and swallow the first one quick because they want that next one. Good girl. Good girl. Here. Good boy. Uh, somebody else is over here licking his lips. Yeah, I see him. Here, Skeeterbug. You're a good farm dog, too. All right. One more. One more for the pretty girl. Yeah. Here, Cora. All right. So anyways, guys, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see if this medicine actually works or not. I have never heard of anybody actually using it that I know personal. I've never seen anyone on YouTube use this type of medication to uh, break the heat cycle in these dogs, but it is proven. Um, I did not see any bad side effects to it. So uh, I think we caught it just in time, and uh, we're not going to worry about having puppies right now, are we? No, we don't want to have puppies yet. We're going to wait till you're a little older. Mr. Leesky, he is, uh, he's two years old now, and she's 14 months, so by six months from now, they'll be a lot more mature, they'll be bigger. Uh, right now, we got all these other kids on the ground right now, which by three months from now, they should all be weaned. And uh, we'll probably get rid of the males and all that by then. But we don't need to be raising puppies and goats all at the same time. Not, 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 not kids. Not right now. Um, like I said, Rachel and I is new to this. We want to be able to do it right. And right now, Cora and Leesky have a job to do because we got all these kids. Let's pan around here and show all these kids doing their thing. The dog's got to be available to protect all these goats. And right now, we've got a lot of goats. We're up to like 80 some head of goats right now, counting all the babies. So it's important to keep these dogs healthy and uh, ready to go because them coyotes like snacking on them little babies, don't they? Hmm? Yeah, good boy. 
But you can see Cora, I'm not gonna have Rachel show any of the bad stuff, but Cora keeps licking on herself and stuff, cleaning it's it up. It's not bad, it's, it's part of nature. I know, but PG, we're PG here pretty much most of the time. And uh, at least he's a lazy man. So where'd Daryl go? I was gonna try to finish off his bottle if he'd, if he'd eat the rest of it, but. Oh, Daryl's over there. Where's Daryl? Oh, right there. Daryl. He's been loving being outside with all these little ones. They've been running and playing. He's not a loner anymore. Come here, Daryl. Come here, Daryl. Now, that's his brother right there. Yeah, that's his brother. He said, they didn't want me, so now I'm probably not gonna talk to him no more. I got, I got a new family. Come here, Daryl. You want your baba? He said, get away from me, mister. Come here, Daryl. You want your baba? Daryl. <laughs> Uh, he's not interested. He don't in want it. We'll put it in the fridge. His belly's full. He's full. Like you can see his belly is full. Oh yeah. Here, let me fix that camera for you. Rachel, I got Rachel holding the camera and I got the tripod all out. It's kind of hard to hold. So anyways guys, we're not going to make a long video today. I just wanted to come out here and share the news with you. That Cora was in heat. Because I know a lot of people kept asking us, how are you going to keep those dogs from breeding and yes here's the deal we could we could pin Leesky up we could pin core up but here is my experience and Rachel's experience from the last time we had a female dog on the farm you guys remember Daisy we had all intentions of having Daisy bred to either a Great Pyrenees or an Anatolian back when we had her but as soon as she came in heat she jumped the fence and ran down the road and got bred by a uh, just a you know just a mutt dog so uh that's what that was we ended up getting her fixed and then uh after that we you know we couldn't have puppies with her obviously because she was already fixed but um i don't want to pin leesky up separate the two dogs because like i said they are busy working right now they've got 30 head of babies and then all the adults over here so they got like 50 some goats over here alone that's a lot of work for one dog so if we just pin one up they're going to be upset and uh i don't want cora getting out of the of our fencing and going to another farm or down the road and getting bred by another dog if this medicine does not work for whatever reason and she does get bred then i definitely want mr leesky to be the dad wouldn't you agree we don't need no baby Skeeters running around here. <laughs> I, I don't think that's going to hey, happen. Hey, I've seen weirder things happen, uh, you know. I've seen weirder things happen. But anyways, Cora's a great dog. Leesky's a great dog. Um, we just feel like we want to wait a little bit. If we can wait six more months or something, that'll be great. Mr. Leesky's jealous. So He's I've, always jealous. I've got to scratch him so Rachel can give Cora attention because if not... <clears throat> Mr. Leesky will go over there and he'll just step right on Cora and say, uh, don't mind me, but I'll take them scratches. And Cora does have, I know a lot of you have noticed a limp and we've had her to the vet and had them check her joints and, and different things. And it's like, not a bad limp. The, the vet said at, at that point in time, they're going to be going through a lot of growing pains and she she's a big girl so we check her continually check her paws and everything else just to make sure that there's nothing there so and we do give her supplements for some joint uh health that uh we got from a company i can't remember off the top of my head right now but really right now i know a lot of you have been concerned see what i mean but it's just <laughs> I think it's just really growing pains. Yeah, um, so one thing that the vet did recommend is, I can't remember the proper terminology, but on these big breed dogs, like these Anatolians, they are, there are some that get like, I can't remember if it's like hip plasia or some kind of hip problems or joint problems. So what the vet recommended doing was continue feeding the puppy food because it has a higher amount of calcium and that helps build their joints and their bones a little stronger and uh sometimes you'll sometimes we'll come out here and it looks like core is kind of limping and stuff but it's just kind of how she's walking and like rachel said we've had her x-rayed had everything else and there's no signs of anything wrong but uh we want to definitely make sure that she don't have any kind of problem that can be genetically passed down to any puppies or anything right so we're definitely hopefully 
Hopefully we can wait a little bit and make sure she's a little bit mature, but she's a good dog otherwise. She's turned out to be an excellent yeah. She is an excellent dog. dog. She's a very pretty dog. Leesky's a pretty dog. She's a lot calmer than Leesky. You're pretty like too, she's, a, she's more well behaved than Leesky. I think she would if be a meaner tell. guard dog. Like as far as uh, predators coming around and stuff, she would be the one that's gonna be a little meaner. And just like Daisy, Daisy was absolutely the meanest dog we've ever had. When I say mean, I'm not saying it in a negative way. I'm talking about doing what she has to do to defend her family or her herd. She would just absolutely go crazy when bobcats, and you guys remember the video of the bobcat <clears throat> where she actually jumped the fence and I had to go back here and get her and she was all cut up and stuff. She did whatever she had to do to get that bobcat out of here because I think at that time we had some babies on the ground and she didn't want that bobcat anywhere around and it was, uh, she was the only guard dog on this field at that time. Uh, Mojo was on the front. But uh, she did what she had to do, and she was she was an awesome dog. But now, when it comes to weaning stage, like I was talking to Kevin just maybe yesterday about a game plan when it comes to weaning. We've never had two livestock guardian dogs on the farm when it comes to weaning stage. So my thoughts were that. Since Cora is really the calmer dog and she is so well behaved with the babies, I was thinking that when it comes time to wean all these kids, we could stick all the kids here in this paddock, which is always a small, usually it's a smaller. Field. It is, and we can keep an eye on it better. That's always uh, what we do. But I was thinking we could put Cora in here with the kids. And then all the adult goats could go to the big pasture and Leesky could go over there. Yeah. But that's just a thought. I don't know if it's going to work. You have to do a <laughs> lot of trial and error when it comes to farm. Look at her behind you. What are you doing? I can't say nothing because yep, Mr. Jealous. But yeah, like Rachel was saying, um, this year when it comes to weaning time, we're probably just going to pull the babies off of all the mamas. All these babies so far <clears throat> are about the same age. A week or two. <clears throat> away um, I think they're all within seven days actually so we'll probably wait three months or so pull them off and we'll keep all the babies in here I'll put the creep feeder in here um, it's not a big deal if we don't have one of the livestock guardian dogs in here Mojo can still cover this side of the field the dogs can cover that side of the field so pretty much only have one side of the field that won't be covered by a guardian dog but we're gonna be getting some pigs again pretty soon and uh, they will be in there, and coyotes usually will not ever go around the pigs. I think they're scared of them. They're Daryl sissies. Daryl likes his head but, scratched. Oh, he does, huh? Oh, he's trying to, he's like, ooh, that feels good. That feels good. Keep doing it. And you guys can see he's healthy. He's not injured in any way. Nope. I know a lot of you were really upset that I can't believe you left that baby in there with that mama two weeks. And <laughs> guys, we would never intentionally put an animal in harm's way. We were monitoring everything. Our subscribers often. know that. So, anyway, and I can take hey, suggestions wait. all day. Hold on a second. What? That is where my bubble gum went. What? They got my bubble gum. What are you talking about? You don't see all the goats chewing my oh. gum? <laughs> I thought you meant I got in my truck the other day and there was no gum. That's not even funny. <laughs> yeah, look, they're all chewing it. Yeah, they're chewing their cud. It was the uh, tutti frutti kind. What's the name of it? <laughs> the yellow. <laughs> Fruit. Uh, I can't, can't remember the name of it. We can't ever. We're awful. We can't ever <laughs> think of things when we come I'm, out here to video. We I'm, sound stupid. I just turned 40 years old and my brain's telling me, reminding me. Anyways, I'm just kidding. My goats didn't really get the gum, but if you can see, it looks like they're chewing gum. They're all sitting here chewing their cud. Goats are ruminant animals, so they eat grass, they eat their hay, and they eat their food and stuff. It goes down in their stomach, and then sometimes they'll spit it back up. They save it for later, and they chew it again later. Anyways, goats are just funny to watch because it does look like they're chewing gum a lot. That's ginger right there. I've never seen one of them blow a bubble, though. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> All right, you think Daryl wants another swig? I don't know, he's pretty happy. 
Oh, he's giving you kisses. Oh, he's gonna bite my nose. Or what he's gonna <laughs> do? Yes, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Okay. Hmm. No thanks. He said. Oh, maybe. He said, "Nope. I just want to lay my head on you." Oh. No, he don't want that. Thanks. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> it's just good. Look at Daryl. This is your jacket, so I, I just got milk all over it. Little Daryl. I love oh, Daryl. He said, I love you. He said, my mama left me, but you'll do. I just gave you kisses. So he'll make a good little uh, bottle goat for somebody. Rachel and I don't really have any intentions of uh, keeping him. So I did talk about in the last video. So by the time you see this video, he might already be gone. I don't know. He seems perfectly healthy. Oh yeah, he's fine. I checked his mouth. He has no mouth issues. There's no obvious signs of any kind of health issues. It's just, I think, because he's the dogs intervened too early yeah. and the mom didn't take to it. I do too. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's 100% what it is. Because that mom has had babies before and we've never had a problem. Yeah, she's been a good mom. And uh, Rachel did see that. I know some people are saying, well, how do you know that's actually the mom? Rachel actually seen these babies born, but when she came back in the barn, the mama and the other baby was out in the field and Lisky and that baby, Daryl, was in the barn. So we're 100% sure that is her baby. And plus it looks pretty much just like her, like some of her features. Seven level. That could be his. Look at that one right there, laying on the ground. Oh yeah. Right in front of you. That one could be, yep. they all are very similar. This one has more. Well, health. you can tell those two are siblings because look at the spot on their head. Yeah. Oh, look at this little blonde one. Yeah, that one's a very cute one. Bo did a fantastic job. Yep. I mean, these are some of the best looking kids we've had. Now we got to do the hard part. We got to get out here and start ear tagging them. But when you he, can do that. You can do that from the day they're born if you want to. We got to do a cleanup day. Yeah, we got to do a cleanup day. Look at all these sticks and stuff. We're going to have to get a burn pile going. I've got a brush pile right over there. It's been there for a couple years. We need to get all that and all this junk that core at least you keep dragging up here. Because I usually try to mow some pass and stuff in here because this starts growing so fast that the goats can't keep up with it. So I try to mow some pass. But with all these sticks and stuff that keep getting it, this looks really bad and it's going to be a mess for me trying to mow. And it don't matter how much we pick up, they still find... I mean, we have a whole wooded pasture back there. Yeah. Wooded field. This little bond, maybe? Yes, isn't it cute? Oh, yeah. They're all cute, though. Every one of them. They're all taking naps right now. It's nap time. Dogs are taking naps. They spent their morning playing and running, and now it's nap time. Yep. They're Dar like... Daryl said, I got my belly full. Okay, Daryl, you go go, go lay down. Daryl's the bottle, baby. <laughs> he sure is. Yep. He's so sweet. All right, guys, so uh, that's the story on Cora. Stay tuned, and I will keep you guys updated on that on the future videos, but hopefully fingers crossed this medicine works and we won't have no puppies in a couple months i think it's three months for gestation on dogs i don't even know we just want the dogs to be more mature we need to be more prepared yep um, yeah i don't even have a whelping box or anything built in the barn yet no which i know that wouldn't be hard but you know all these baby goats and stuff are, are using it the mamas are still using the barn we got some nasty weather coming in later this week so it's just not ideal for right now yeah but so, we always learn to roll with things and and deal with it as it comes and you kind of have to be that way when it you can plan and do all the things all all day long but a lot of times it doesn't go as planned right so, so anyways guys make sure you check out our website hiddenheightsfarms.com and uh follow us on facebook subscribe here if you are not subscribed click down here click the notification bell we've had a lot of people telling us they haven't been getting our notifications when we post a new video so make sure you ring that little bell down below and uh, leave us a comment we'd love to hear do you think we're making the right choice with cora have you guys ever used this uh megastrol acetate medicine i'm new to it so leave a comment down below and uh, we'll see you next time see you guys nobody's lost their baby she's got a dirty butt yeah <laughs> she can clean it off. show one of the cute babies Ah! Ah!
Ah!